Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, college, fashion, marriage, and all of the above. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. But today we are doing my last first week of classes ever. That is so crazy to me and it was a very stressful week. So I hope you can relate and you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's jump right on into this video. Happy Tuesday and happy last first day of school ever. That is so crazy. I'm like so happy about it because the senioritis has never been stronger. But at the same time, I'm not because then I have to become a real adult in May. And that's just a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's my feelings about today so far. But... Let me show you my first day of school fit check. Here is my outfit. So I have this American Eagle turtleneck, this altered state jacket, American Eagle jeans, and my brown Doc Martens. And it's kind of cold out today. It's very foggy, if you can tell. So that's why I'm kind of bundled up. But I kind of like dressing up for school anyway, so... This is what I'm going to be wearing. I left for school early to get Starbucks because first day, obviously. So I got a sandwich, a croissant, and my drink. And I'm going to watch a little YouTube video before I get started. I'm excited. I'm excited to do these slow things before the busyness starts. First day is over honestly it was pretty good I have no complaints about it I had digital strategies and then I had reporting for mass media and I've kind of looked at all of the classes I'm gonna be taking the syllabus and such and all of them kind of have something related to social media which makes me excited because it's actually what I want to do so I think it's gonna be a good semester so far and yeah it's 4 45 I got out of my class early and I'm gonna head home and Tuesdays are date night 
but it's Alex week to plan it so we'll see what he has planned I hope he actually has something planned I don't know Publix. We went to Publix. We got Olipops because we want to try them. I've already tried them. Oh. <laughs> well, I haven't tried the cola one, so we'll see how it goes. So, taste test. Yeah, it tastes like the Dr. Pepper one did. I got orange squeeze. Tastes like I remember it. It tastes like medicine-y to me, but I'm also an avid Coke drinker, so that's probably why. I don't think she understands that these are not like normal sodas. I do understand. <laughs> guys it's Wednesday I am on my way to school right now and I'm gonna vlog for a second while driving so I'm not gonna look at the camera very much but I wanted to tell you kind of how yesterday went overall my feelings yesterday maybe people can relate to this but I'm having some post-grad scares <laughs> about life after graduation because I feel like I'm gonna be expected to be a real adult like I should have this great job and um, since I'm married a lot of people are expecting me to have kids after I graduate like immediately and I'm like so terrified of that one I'm just I'm terrified of pregnancy and childbirth in general which is something I need to get over I'm working on it I also have a really hard time with comparing my life journey to other people's and I'm like in some aspects I'm like man I'm so ahead of the game I'm 23 and I'm doing all these things and then I accidentally honked my horn <laughs> and then in other aspects I'm like I'm 23 I should be doing this already and I have like this weird limbo that I'm in and I have a hard time with people's expectations of me so I'm really kind of like battling that and like trusting the Lord in my post-grad plans but yesterday I was feeling like overwhelmed at all of it also just overwhelmed with the semester in general because as you saw I mapped out what my assignments were gonna look like I also did some work things, some things for the young adults group that we run. So it's just like an overwhelming, unsettling feeling most of the day. And I get stress eye twitches. <laughs> when I'm really stressed, it's like my body telling me something is wrong, slow down. And I had the worst stress eye twitch that I've ever had in my life. It was during my reporting journalism class and it was literally just like both of my eyes and I was like what is going on so I definitely feel like I need to do some like slower activities of like journaling and reading again to feel a little bit better but hopefully that wasn't too long of an explanation I just wanted to share my little post-grad scaries moment because <laughs> that's how I was feeling and hopefully people can relate to it so I'm on my way to school I have chapel which is my mentor group with a bunch of girls that are also like commuters or married college students and after that I have one class it's promotion strategy well I am done for the day I had chapel then I cleaned out my car actually <laughs> there was a lot of trash in it and then after that I went to promotion strategy and it's with a teacher I've never had sounds like it's gonna be a lot of like marketing business related stuff which definitely 
could be helpful for me so that is all that I got today it's 1 45 and I think I'm gonna go to a coffee shop I have lots of work to do it's not school work yet it's more social media work that I need to get done website designing stuff like that so I'll see you at the coffee shop good morning so yesterday ended kind of crazy so I ended up sitting at the coffee shop for three hours if you don't know I work for both of my parents for different things so I was working on stuff for my dad and he has been sending me a bunch of stuff to work on for a while and I just hadn't had the chance to look at it all so I just sat down and just did all of it and I did not think it would take three hours to do I honestly thought I did not have that much so I was there forever and I was starting to get like really tired and cranky my back was hurting from the bar stool I was sitting on so I finally got home and I just crashed on the couch like I could not get up afterwards and I think we watched TV from like 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. I just couldn't get myself to do anything and I felt bad and I was feeling guilty and Alec was doing dishes and getting me ice cream and all this stuff and I was like I feel so bad that my energy level is at nothing and you're doing all these things. The adjustment has been really hard <laughs> to say the least to get back into the swing of things and today I desperately need to vacuum my car especially because I drive in it and I'm in it a lot. I like to have a very clean car so I'm going to the car wash place because they have the free vacuums there and I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go on a walk and then we have school today so let's get this bread I guess <laughs> I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? You Today has been an insane day and I haven't been in a very good mood, which is why I haven't picked up the vlog camera in a second, but I got home from the walk. You saw the walk. Went to school, went to a senior project meeting, which just tells us what we need to do for our senior project, which is a little overwhelming especially when you're at the beginning of it and it's just like whoa a lot of stuff to do then i went to my class and the power went out because we have a thunderstorm and i wouldn't have been upset about it if my computer would work without being plugged in but it has to be plugged in to be even turn on and also my ipad is not in my backpack for some reason i think i like took it so I was really upset that I felt like I was wasting time because I couldn't do anything that I needed to do. When the power went out, my class got uh, cut short, the 1 p.m. one. So I was getting really frustrated and in my head. But now I'm at Starbucks and I'm going to try to work here because their power is on, it looks like, on the inside. And then we'll see if my 4 o'clock class gets canceled too but if it does then I can just go home and if it doesn't then I will have to go back to school so we'll see if they'll get power back on and we can have class I don't know but I'm just gonna go work at this Starbucks and hopefully turn my mood around Excuse me, what are you doing? Guys, look at the tattoo. <laughs> Thanks Sophie for that. Tattoo, but her oh, yeah, it's covered up tight. completely. Okay, we'll believe you. Good grief. Yesterday was such a hard day. I don't even remember how much I vlogged, but after I had my class that was not canceled because the storm stopped, perfect. <laughs> I ended up 
going to the mall to meet some friends because one of my friends is back from Hawaii. So we went shopping, ate at the mall, and just hung out for a little bit. That part, super fun. And then came back here and I crashed on my bed again and I just binged YouTube and that's kind of been the mood for this week. This has been such a hard adjustment and I'm sorry that this vlog is not very positive but I wanted to be honest and share how I'm having a hard time getting back into the swing of things. So today it is currently 9 30. I don't have to leave for school until 12 15 so I read my bible this morning ate an acai bowl and now I'm gonna do an at-home Pilates workout. I was gonna go to the gym but I just don't have it in me so at least I could do something at home instead. So that's what I'm gonna do now and then I will. Blues, yeah, I wanna try myself inside the juice. OOTD for school. I just have this American Eagle sweatshirt. <laughs> it's super old. Airy crossover flare leggings and my classic Air Forces that are freaking dirty. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you guys whenever I see you next. Bye, guys.